Hey guys, Brendan Productions here, and let's talk about deletion. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the, I think this is the fifth Vim video tutorial, and we've been we've been able to do a lot of things with Vim so far, and we've created quite the document. In fact, this document contains so much stuff that I just want to remove some of it. But we don't know how to remove things in Vim, so let's go ahead and find out. This is basic removal. So. Let's first talk about, as usual, we're going to talk about the individual character command and then the bigger command. Um, so we're going to be talking about the X command and the delete command today uh, for removing things. So let's start off by removing single characters. So we've got this giant thing up here um, that says, this is A. And this is definitely not A. <laughs> In fact, this is nothing. So we actually just want to get rid of this A here. Well, we can get rid of a single character by Xing it out. So we move our cursor over the character and we hit X. And it's gone. It's gone from existence. We can do this with the space as well because we don't want this that w nasty white space at the end of our document. So, yes, just like that, X deletes characters. Um, it's very similar to, I believe, it is the delete command um, on normal. In the normal insertion mode, you can backspace and delete as much as you want. However, in command mode, if you press X, it's similar to the delete command because it just deletes whatever the cursor is currently highlighting. Now, as I mentioned, once again, I'm going to reiterate that there's a lowercase and uppercase version of all commands. So if you want to delete one character, you type X. However, if you type capital X, um, oh. So as I just mentioned, my apologies, I thought I thought I was going to do something else. But um, as I just mentioned, um, in insertion mode, we have delete, which deletes the character after the cursor, and we have backspace, which moves the character back and deletes the character before the cursor. So in escape mode, um, or command mode rather, if we press X, it deletes the character that is currently um, that is currently on the cursor, and if we type in capital X, it deletes the character before the cursor. So it functions as a sort of backspace, and X functions as a sort of delete. Capital X is a backspace. So that's basic character deletion. So Oh, look at that. We created heal. <laughs> that was unintentional. So let's just go ahead and remove all of that. Oh, no. So this is basic Vim editing. We just deleted the L here. So what we want to do is we actually want to um, replace this space with the L. So we're going to type in R to replace the character and type in L. Then we're going to type in L to move our cursor over to the right. And we're going to just spam X to remove the rest of this. And now we have the word heal. And what are the chances of constructing heal from that, that string? That was pretty good. Pretty good. So, <laughs> now that we've just discussed the individual character uh, removal techniques using the X command, we can go ahead and discuss the more complicated delete command. Now, just like the replace and change command, X and delete have very different relationships. X deletes a single character, while delete takes a modifier telling you uh, exactly what you want to delete. So, say we have this sentence here, this is indeed another line. Well, if we want to delete the first word, this, what we want to do is we want to delete, um, well, some would say that we want to delete to the end of the word. However, actually what we want to do is we want to delete to the next word because that would include the space in between the word this and the word is. So in order to delete up until the next word, we're going to want to type D for delete and then using our list of modifiers that we've been creating down at the bottom of this document here, um, we can type in W for word, or next word. And once we type W, it deletes up until the next word. And then we can actually use J to move down and delete this individual space here with X. <coughs> Excuse me. So now, let's say we want to delete to the end of the word is. We can do that by typing in D and then E, and E moves to the end of a word. So DE deletes to the end of the word. Then, um, yeah, so that's the delete command. Now, we can combine the delete command also with capital um, E and lowercase, or capital E and capital W. So say here in Tacor line, we want to remove the entire Tacor line. However, if we were to type DW, we would only remove Tacor because that is, that is the word. But if we want to remove the entire Tacor line, we can type in D capital W. And it's going to remove all of Tacor line because that was one word not separated by spaces. Um, similarly, if we type in D capital E, um, we remove the entire Tacor line because that is one to the end of a word not separated by spaces. 
So that's the basics of a delete command. Since we already covered the complications of modifiers in the replacement tutorial, or the change tutorial rather, we don't really need to cover the complications of modifiers with the delete command, because we already know. Um, in Vim, all you need to do is you just need to combine commands, and it just becomes really simple, because once you learn a certain command, you know that it probably takes modifiers, and you know the modifiers. So you can just do whatever you want using these simple commands and all of these modifiers. So let's go ahead and go to the bottom of the document and insert all of this information in. So lowercase x um, deletes a single character. Capital X, oh, actually lowercase x deletes a single character um, at the cursor. And notice I'm using basic Vim navigation commands. For example, there I just pressed escape, press J to move down a line, and then press capital A to get to the end of this line. Now this one deletes a single character before the cursor. D um, deletes whatever we specify um, using a modifier. Now actually I've never experimented with capital D so I'm not really sure how it works so let's go ahead and mess with our talk or line here and if we just type capital D I think just like the replace command and the change command uh, more specifically the change command, it just deletes to the end of a line. Which that's what it looks like it does. So we're gonna go ahead and just hope that that's the correct functionality that we that we just saw. It deletes until the end of a line. So that is deleting and just like the replace command or the change command rather, my, my apologies. Um, the, just like the change command, deleting takes a modifier. And there's a lot more modifiers that we haven't actually learned about. So we'll go ahead and learn about a few more modifiers in the next tutorials. So um, keep an eye out for that. And in the next tutorial, we'll also be covering copying and pasting within Vim. So be sure to look for, out for that. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. And I hope that you're excited for the next tutorials on how to use Vim. If you have any questions, please don't be afraid to re uh, leave a comment. And have an excellent day. I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.